All right, so I'm going to be doing a new video uh, on the Steam Deck. This is going to be something I haven't really seen too much about uh, or anything about technically. Um, this is a new portable monitor that I got. It is an OLED uh, 15 point whatever inch. Um, it was $260 with a coupon. You get a coupon off. And if you want to get a smaller version, there's a 13 whatever inch version that's actually 200 bucks, and looks fairly good. And uh, just wanted to show the uh, the Steam Deck running on a portable monitor, on a OLED portable monitor. Um, the built-in screen isn't the isn't the worst, but it's not the best. So, and it's just one cable. Plug it in the top. No need for any power. I actually plugged power in, and I didn't like the uh, the brightness was too high. <laughs> it was bothering my eyes. So now we switch on over to our portable monitor here. And I might actually need to lower the brightness a bit so the background doesn't go crazy. Uh, but you, oddly enough, you press the power button, and that brings up the controls. It is not touchscreen. Uh, I think the, wow, the brightness is fairly low, um, and it's still, oh, <laughs> okay, try this again, uh, these things are always confusing, Let's see, it's better. But yeah, I'm having to lower the brightness, so I think uh, the brightness is fine. Um, so let me just reposition a bit and zoom in a little. And here we have our Steam Deck uh, displayed on a portable monitor with just one cable. and We have an OLED display. Fairly vibrant colors. I actually had to tone down the uh, saturation when I got it. So, out of the box, saturation was a little too high. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, what was I going to do? Yeah, let's let's uh, go to my library. I installed a bunch of games. It took me forever to install these games. I don't have the emulation station set up. Uh, on here, I have another SD card with that, and I guess I'll do some stuff with that once I get that set, all set up and ready to go. Um, I already showed Killer Instinct before, but it is a, it does show off the the display, ugh, the display fairly well. Um, let me make sure that I go for installed games. By the way, even though this this game Modern Warfare Two on uh, multiplayer says it doesn't work, it does so. Um, there's that. Also, this game, which is verified, uh, when I try to launch it on an external display, it crashes. I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can come up with a fairly colorful game. Uh, what can we do? What's a... Ooh, Red Out. This game, this is one of those games I had to kind of tweak a little. I don't know if this is going to uh, work with the settings that I chose, though, because I had to change the, the refresh rate and all this stuff, so I don't know if that's going to work with this display. I had it changed to 40 hertz. So, nope! <laughs> oh, well, oh, there it goes. Okay. Never mind. I guess it was just switching. It was switching on over. Okay, cool. I wish this thing got a little louder, but in fact, I'm actually going to do something I normally don't do, just so that I could show off the black levels, uh, if I can think of how to do it uh, without my phone. Um, let me just, I'm going to flip a switch, one second. Okay, I normally don't like to film in the dark, but for an OLED screen, I think it makes sense. So, I'm just going to do a quick race. I suck at this game, but 
I forgot how to play it. I used to know how to play it, but uh, shit happens, and you forget how to play things. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Is there other colors? Like, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. I'm just going to do that and... And as you see, the blacks are like perfect. And it is very vibrant. And I cannot play this game worth a shit. So I forgot. Let's see. You gotta... Oh, <laughs> Jesus. I can barely even see where I'm going. But yeah. I will do some dedicated red out gameplay. I feel like I have to actually do some form of learning how to play this game again in order to do that. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm already going to blow up. This definitely looks better than the one on the Switch. It's not blurry or anything. Boom. So. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know how I ever played this. I actually got somewhere in this game. Oh, God. Oops. Oh, Jesus. Eighth place. Last place. I also got Switch emulation hooked up on this thing. Uh, if you output the emulators to... At least with Emulation Station, I don't know if it's any difference any other way. I don't think it is. But uh, if you output emulators to this display, you get black bars. And some of the other games you get black bars with too. Oh, wow. This isn't going well for me. I don't know why I'm bothering to try to finish the race. <laughs> Alright, let me get out of here and I'm gonna No <laughs> So yeah, I guess it's just switching the refresh rate and uh, getting back out And this, this uh, fan on this thing is getting crazy I cannot launch this game. I, I, in order to get this game on the external display, I have to launch it first on the, on the Steam Deck, and then it plays on the display. <laughs> uh, should I go for a game that... Let's do some Streets of Rage 4. Um... This game has some decent colors. Okay. 
the speakers are all the way up and uh, I can't I can barely hear it let me see, uh, now I think I put it all the way up on the yeah I put it all the way up on the steam deck and I believe I also put it all the way up on the uh, let me see if this goes up anymore I don't I think I put it all the way up oh no it's not all the way up uh, if I can, okay, that's weird. Okay, it won't go up anymore. I don't know why. Oops. <laughs> no, nothing. You son of a bitch. Alright, so that's it for that. I'm going to exit out of there. And just We could just hit exit, I guess. Exit normally. I don't want to go trying to get into an online multiplayer match or anything like that. So Let me launch Hot, Shot, Hot Shots Racing, a game that says it doesn't work. And it works perfectly fine. And it looks great. Now I'll leave a link to this uh, display. And this is one of the ones you see that the black bars on the sides here. So. I think uh, Streets of Race 4 doesn't even support uh, the... Uh, 12, 1280 by 800 resolution. So, it defaults to 16 by 9, which is perfect for this monitor. And the uh, response time on this monitor is fairly good. I don't notice any input lag or anything like that. Oh shit, I got zoned out on something. Stop paying attention.
<laughs> Just made it. <laughs> All right. So I think uh, that's really it. The only thing I'll point out is that there's no high refresh rate with this monitor. There's no crazy extra features. There's no HDR. It's 1080p. Uh, no variable refresh rate uh, switching. Um, what else? <laughs> it's just your average run-of-the-mill monitor that it just so happens to have a 1080p, really nice looking 1080p, uh, what is it, uh, 1080p, um, OLED display, and it also doesn't pass through 45 watt charging, so if you want to play and charge your, um, your device at the same time, you'll probably need, like, an adapter, uh, like an HDMI adapter that accepts uh, the power in um, and all that. But if you just want to play for a little bit on a, on a larger display, nicer looking display, uh, this will this will work. And links will be in the description. And I'll work on some emulation. Thank you for watching.